All right, your boy Corey G. I'm here just testing out s some new content on the channel. And we're going to do six life questions with Cole Susak. Hello. So there's so many fucking ballers that come through the office, uh, but there's a lot of ballers in the office. Mm, that's facts. So uh, the other day when I was lunging and learning, shout out Lunge and Learn Network, I was lunging and learning and I was like, I'm going to write down some questions. I'm going to ask the homies. And then as people come through the office based around how to build confidence and win in life, shout out to my own book. No free yeah, shout, shout out. You just shout out everything <laughs> yourself. Yeah, it's great. Shout out maxsevermuscle.com and Sam Adams. All right. So six life questions with Cole Susak. Number one. Cole, what is one ritual that you are dedicated to? So out of everything you think about, something that you are ultimately dedicated to, and if you don't do it, you come right back to it. Uh, I mean, the, the first thing that comes to my mind is I have to keep just because like work wise, yep. I have to keep my desktop like clean. This is, this so is, this is, this is great. This is so, great. Perfect. Yeah, be, and I do that because the more, cause there's so much shit going on. I try to eliminate everything that can pull away from it. That'll run space. And it yeah. That <clears throat> runs space in my head. And it just so happens that if my desktop is unorganized, so all the folders and files and shit I got on my desktop, as soon as I open up, if they're not, Oh, you're at talking least, about your computer On my desktop. computer, yes. On my computer, if they're not okay. organized, and at least in a folder that I know is where I want them to be, it fucks with me. So I'm super consistent in... So, all right, very, strategy. Yes. How many folders are on the desktop, roughly? So, yeah. So, all right, to get into the details. <laughs> yeah. So I have a folder for every, basically, brand that I work with. Okay, I like so it. So that way, if I'm working on something and I need, and I'm just constantly revisiting it yeah i'll put it in a folder like there's a Corey g one yep. there's a max everyone one there's a chasing edges one there's yeah, all yeah. sorts of congo yeah, yes, yeah and there's a folder for archive that's even more sh random shit that i just need to go do so that's something all right yeah so when you said desktop originally i thought it meant i thought you meant like your <coughs> actual desktop you, like your desk you sit at no my actual like home office is a fucking mess so so so, so that's interesting so your computer could, needs I would to be say more organized than your actual physical desk. One hundred percent, because that's where I actually like spend most of my time and work. Yeah, yeah. But I'm glad that you went there and not working out because I think then that's something that you know how they talk about make your bed or clean your room up, and it's kind of like what I just did in the warehouse. Yeah. Like it, those you, things you, are just they're just playing a little bit. You know in what's the back. interesting is I've never like got onto anything like that. Yeah, because I feel like there, you can get it's so easy to become like to where that owns you. You don't own the routine. Yeah. The routine owns you. Yep. And I really try to stay away from that. Yeah, yeah. I like to be agile. I don't do any of that stuff either. But, you know? but I think there is things like if I leave too many clothes piled up in my house, it fucks with you and a little, not a, it'll take a while for it to get over the top. But then when I do it, I'm like, why didn't I do that earlier? So yeah. I, I like it. All right. Number two, one thing you're super proud of. Um, so like when you talk about it, you know, a lot of work, a lot of skill, a lot of perseverance, whatever it is that's like you're ultimately proud of. You're young you, in your game well, still, well, but I mean, there's a there's a lot of things that come to mind. Yeah. But honestly, mm -hmm. like I would say just straight up facts is like graduating from Ohio State there you go. business school because of everything that it's surrounded and that too. went into it while I was doing there. Yeah. You know? The amount of work you put in as like at the brand, like at the gym while you were finishing school is impressive. All, all of it came together. So I would say that's really like where I started the yep. career. And it just so happens like that's whenever I started training at the 4 a.m. crew, learning all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And w I mean, waking up and trying to manage the fucking business classes that were running until 10 at night and they were hard as fuck. It, I mean, it was a top 10 business school. So yeah. I would say like that. I love that. Number three, one thing you wish you could change. <clears throat> Man, I wish I could fucking draw. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I'm serious. I wish I could sing. Not, so yeah. yeah, I'm serious because because if I could just like I, I don't know. That's like the whole thing of why I like working with other logo creators. Yeah, because I can't fucking draw. Like I can't do it. Because if you are artistic like that, then could turn those marks into yes. things you do be crazy. Yes. And I would say, but those are but, sometimes but, those dudes get yes, caught up though. But I would argue <laughs> that the fact that I can't draw and I still make dope shit is even more of is yeah. even more special. So. Uh, I love it. You know. All right. Number four. How did you build your initial confidence? Obviously, we're always working on it. But what was the what do you think contributed the most to Cole being like a notch more confident? Um, well, I think it all stems back to the weight room and stuff like that. But a lot of it was just 
having enthusiasm and not being afraid to go to the extreme mm. and fucking really put yourself out there. Just like even in the weight room. But the weight room allowed that, you to. The weight room allowed it because the yelling and stuff like ah. that, that's just like it, you know, lets it come out. And then you would start doing it in front of your friends, in front of these parents. And like they would, you, you know, you get that energy. So I would say that. That's the initial WWE vibes. And I think it stems <laughs> from the WWE watching those guys do all this crazy shit. I was just naturally into that, mm -hmm. you know, so. Love it. Most of the people are going to answer that question, weight room first. Because I yeah, think that's why I, I we all started lifting weights. I don't know where else it would have came from because I was naturally like a shy kid. Yeah. I love it. So. Number five. We only have six. Nice. <laughs> this is six questions. Is it, we should make it six to nine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Six to nine questions. <laughs> right, Danny? <laughs> yeah. Number five. What's success mean to you? Well, all right. So I've been thinking about this a lot lately. And I would say it's just success means to me where I can get to a point to where I can dictate everything that's going around me. Like I can dictate whether or not I have to do work yep. where, you know, where I can dictate whether or not I need to go make more money or if I don't need to make more money yeah. to where I'm like chill with that. I love it. Basically your life is your own. Yes. Yeah. Uh, number six. It's funny that you didn't, well, I knew you probably wouldn't do this. It's not a dollar amount. No, people don't. People are they're starting. I think to realize that. Yeah. Be, well, and I, think you didn't it, say when I have, 12 and I think that's because, <laughs> Yeah, and I think that stems from, you know, people back home, like parents, they were like trapped to the job. Yeah. Like they needed that job. I don't want the I, I want the job should need me. I yeah. don't need the fucking job. I like that. Number six. One piece of advice you'd leave everyone. <clears throat> Man, this this is a great question. I mean, yeah, <laughs> no, it was. Yeah, yeah. Danny said, "Don't, don't be, be small." small. <laughs> Mine would say, "To be a fucking dog and quit being scared." It sounds like my term paper I wrote. Literally, <laughs> literally. Yeah. Well, it, it, elaborate on what that means. I mean, it's like go I, after. So, it. all right. So maybe one piece of advice, but I hope you know something that people would take away with from me forever is that I would. I'm not really afraid to do like anything. Like I'll try anything and I don't, and I'm not scared to go into situations just because I think it's a big situation. You know, like I attack those big circumstances and stuff like that. You have relied on that. You're going to figure it out even on the fly or in the situation yes. because of all these things. And that doing, Cole. at the end of the day, probably the situation you think is a big deal. And in the grand scheme of things is not a fucking big deal. Yeah. And it's just a learning experience and it's a fun fucking story too. Well, this was six life yeah. questions with Cole Susak. You are fucking dog, Cole. Yeah, where, where can everybody find you at? Oh, uh, you can find me, you know, on Instagram. It's uh, <laughs> it's Cole Susak, or uh, Varsity Creative. Yeah, Varsity Creative. We got the brand. Yeah, that's good. Shout out the Round Table. Yeah, shout out Sam Adams. S Sam uh, Adams. Arms Army. Shout out Small Arms Danny. <laughs> No, no free shots. Yeah. All right. Good work, Cole. All right. We're out later. <laughs>